Welcome to the Romania River channel. In my first impressions of Stellaris's um, cosmetic DLC, Humanoids Pack, which basically just adds in some um, new. How should I put this? Avatar slash images for leaders, and the new ship set, pretty much like the Plantoids one did. Now, disclaimer before I begin, I'm doing this video in quite a short one by comparison to other ones because one or two days ago I was contacted by the PR representative for Paradox and offered a complimentary code for this but it being outside my FX code I said okay I'd accept it but only if you allow me to do a first impressions which I'm doing it's not gonna be any spectacular first impressions but yeah just basically showing you guys what the pack gives you for about 8 US dollars or 8 euros. Really hate the 8 euros equal 8 USD bet, but such is life. Now, in terms of appearances, humanoids get a bunch of other ones. If I'm not mistaken, the humanoid ones ended around here, the traditional ones. So yes, there's quite a few more. Different, somewhat reptile or some or in this particular case, dwarven looking creatures, even a cyclops, which is quite nice. Decent. Personally, the dwarf one kind of wooed me over to seeing this pack as a more uh, interesting proposition because it's cosmetic. Nothing really gets added in the game besides some visual stuff. Besides that, as I said, there's also the ships, which are the humanoid vessels and they're quite nicely done and um, as uh, I found out I think it was Friday via the um, Paradox Twitter they actually based these, this ship pack off ships from their um, Stellaris concept art if you ever load up uh, the game and you see that um, fleet going into a gigantic warp portal. If you look around real carefully, some of the ships in there are actually the ones you see in this humanoid pack. Now, to actually get a good look at them, and all of them, not just frigates, cru well, cruisers, corvettes, and yada yada, let's just take a look. A proper look. Now, this isn't me actually learning to play, this is me using a command via this that simulates 150 years of uh, progression almost immediately. Just saying that because yeah, I'm probably not going to be poking around Stellaris up until 2.0 hits but that's just an aside really. Now in terms of visuals, me here. This is quite interesting, it's kind of evocative of uh, not so much Star Wars with its wedge shape, you know, taking Star Destroyer, but um, old, uh, not old, yeah, actually the Old Republic era um, oh, interdictor for the Sith Empire. It's only missing the bridge section here, you kind of can't see it. I can't remember the name of the specific class itself. Things kind of look interesting, and yeah. Generally speaking, quite well done. The pricing's a wee, wee bit off for what it offers, but overall, they are beautifully well done. Beautifully well done. English, Romanian English. <sighs> quite a decent amount of options. The cruiser itself kind of actually also looks like one of the ones from the concept art. I think I'm probably gonna put in a uh, image somewhere around, let's say here, in edit to actually show the image so you guys can know what I'm referring to pers precisely. Different types of holes and actually this kind of looks a little bit like a more uh, stylized version of a gladius sword from the top side profile. Most definitely, I'm gonna see it. Yep, proper gladius. And of course, we also have 
the battleship. The lovely, lovely battleship. I haven't yet spotted this one in um, the concept art, but very beautiful for what it is. Again, kind of a sword wedge shape design going around. And to be honest, the ships themselves, for what they are, they look superb. Problem is the pricing, as I said earlier. For 8 US dollars or 8 euros, mm -hmm. if there were two packs, yeah, or if it was like 4 euros, hmm. Because personally, I'm a fan of this type of game. Granted, I don't play it very often because I'm usually more in tune with action RPGs and uh, shooters, but every now and then when I feel a urge to found the Imperium of Man or, in this particular case, recreate the squats, if nobody knows that, just look up Warhammer Wikipedia squat articles. Yeah. It's quite nice. It's quite a good option to have. Here's the ship. This is one of the more obvious ships from the concept art. I think in the concept art it's something like this or something like this. Can't remember exactly. They're beautiful. I'm not gonna say anything about the craftsmanship. It's well done. But the price. If Later on, it goes on sale or is it bu or is bundled as more or less a free option or free perk. For example, as for um, the story DLCs that will come that will come so far and come afterwards and stuff like that. Yep, it's really really good. As is two to four euros maximum if you're a fan of the game. 8 euros or 8 US dollars it's pushing it. It's pushing it really hard. I mean Maybe if you have store credit and you can get the code that way if, like for example from gamers gate or whatever. Yeah, in that case, okay, I can see it, but Directly 8? No. Thank you for watching or more precisely surviving up until this point because guys know the editing's kind of interesting and my voice has a melodic tone to it. If you like what you saw, feel free to hit the subscribe button, like button, it does help out the statistics of the channel, gets more visible, you know, stuff like that. And to be honest, at one point I would like to actually make this a job so I can do better content with better quality, more games, more coverage, you know, stuff like that. Take care.